the tallest life forms in the history of Earth. You ever wonder why people, plants, and animals only reach a certain height? Well, the answer to that question is straightforward. Most of the Earth's inhabitants can't grow too tall because of the pull of gravity. For example, if you were to double in size, you'd become eight times heavier and the force of gravity would crush you. Yet some life forms manage to find a loophole in this gravitational law, growing tall and proud. Let's have a look at some of the giants living on our planet. But before we kick off this list, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. There, now you won't miss any of the daily updates on the bright side of life. Plants As you've probably noticed, the tallest life forms on our planet are trees. It makes perfect sense. Trees pretty much have one goal in life, to spend all their energy on growing taller than their neighbors. And that's because in the tree world, the taller you are, the more sunlight you get. And sunlight is like food for plants, so that means a longer life. But even among trees, there are several giants that put the rest to shame. The tallest of them are redwoods, aka Sequoia sempervirens. The record holder among these California natives is a tree with its own name, Hyperion. Discovered in 2006, this guy is so massive that you can't even see the top. The reason for that is its staggering height of 380.3 feet. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty, whose height is just 310 feet. Hyperion has some siblings that are shorter than itself, yet are still taller than Lady Liberty. There's 374.3 foot tall Helios, 371.2 foot tall Icarus, and 363.4 foot tall Daedalus. Redwoods get so tall because they have plenty of time to grow. These trees have a lifespan of about 500 to 700 years, yet some even get to celebrate their 2000th birthday. But if one day you'd like to see these monumental trees for yourself, you might not be able to. Their location is kept secret, and that's because, unfortunately, cases of vandalism aren't as rare as you'd think. The second place medal for the world's tallest tree species goes to the Australian mountain ash, known in the scientific community as Eucalyptus rainens. Some experts are convinced that if people didn't cut them down, these trees would grow even taller. As for the champion among them, it goes to a tree named Centurion. This Australian native is a whopping 327.5 feet tall. This tree is so famous that it even has its own Facebook page. Animals While trees just spend their energy basically sunbathing all the time, animals have a little bit more to do. They need energy to walk, breed, hunt, feed, and stay warm. But that doesn't mean they can't grow tall as well. African bush elephants often reach a shoulder height of 13 feet. But they pay for being so tall with their weight, which can get as heavy as 7 tons. Imagine having to carry all that around. But the tallest living animal on Earth is the giraffe, whose leg alone is taller than the average human. Males grow up to 18 feet, and females are a bit shorter at around 14 feet tall. Calves, baby giraffes are called that too, are an incredible 6 feet tall at birth and grow half an inch or more a day. But let's have a look at the longest creatures as well. Perhaps if we could position them vertically, they'd beat the giraffe's record? The saltwater crocodile, the largest of all reptiles, definitely could. It can grow almost 20 feet long. And if the brown bear stands on its hind legs, its height can reach 10 to 13 feet. Sure, it doesn't compete with the giraffe, but this bear would give the African bush elephant a run for its money. Height-wise, of course. And when we dive into the oceans, things get really interesting. Since gravity doesn't prevent sea creatures from growing big and mighty, they can get utterly massive. Take the blue whale, for instance. It can reach a length of almost 100 feet. Their hearts are as big as a car. 
and their tongues weigh as much as a full-grown elephant. This makes the blue whale the biggest creature on our planet today, large and in charge. But there is one sea creature that gives the blue whale some competition in the length department, and that's the lion's mane jellyfish. This guy has a relatively small body, but its tentacles? Brace yourselves, folks! Scientists have recorded some of these gigantic jellies with up to 1,200 tentacles that grow as long as 120 feet. Thanks to its record-breaking appendages, the lion's mane jellyfish is the longest creature on the planet. However, some marine biologists disagree with this claim. They declare that if you fully extend the saltwater boot lace worm, it can measure 180 feet from one end to the other. So that's basically a worm that's longer than three entire buses. And let's move on before we all have nightmares, shall we? Prehistoric animals This all sounds cool and impressive, but no modern creature can hold a candle to the monsters of prehistoric times. If we took all the animals that have ever existed on this planet, both past and present, the top 10 places on the list of the tallest life forms ever would belong to dinosaurs. As for the tallest of these giant reptiles, that would be the sauropods. They had a body structure like no other, with front legs that were longer than the back ones. They also had incredibly long necks that allowed them to reach the tops of the tallest trees. The tallest member of this already tall family was the Sauroposeidon. Fossil records show that its height could reach 60 feet. Humans So what about us? Where do humans stand on this list of Earth's tallest beings? Well, we've got nothing on prehistoric or sea life, but we are actually taller than 87.6% of all the world's mammals. The country that produces the tallest people on the planet is the Netherlands. The average height of both men and women is 6 foot 3. Montenegro takes second place with an average height of 6 foot 1 among its population. But, of course, the human race also has its own outstanding record breakers. Take John Rogan, for instance. Born in 1868, Rogan had an unexplainable and sudden growth spurt at the age of 13. As a full-grown adult, he towered at 8 foot 9 inches tall. There's also Robert Wadlow, who is still the reigning champ of the tallest people ever to have lived. His nickname was the Giant of Illinois, and he stood at 8 foot 11 inches. When Wallow was just 8 years old, he was already 6 feet 2 inches and 169 pounds. Some other honorable mentions of the tallest people in history were John F. Carroll at 8 foot 7 and a half inches, as well as Vino Millerine and Edouard Beaupre, who both towered over others at 8 foot 3. Before you envy these folks for their ability to reach on top of any shelf or go to the movies without anybody's head blocking their view, you should know that they didn't have it so easy. All of them suffered from constant pain due to the pressure their enormous height put on their bones and joints. That's the whole gravity thing, remember? They had to order custom-made clothes, shoes, and even furniture. They were always the center of attention, which got pretty exhausting. But the worst thing was that their bodies couldn't take the pressure very long. Most of these giants died in their 20s. Bonus! The largest living thing on Earth. We've mentioned some jaw-dropping giants in today's video, but the largest living thing on our planet is neither an animal nor a plant. That gold medal goes to the honey fungus. You can find this parasitic fungus dwelling in the Blue Mountains of Oregon. Yes, it is alive, and its body stretches 2.4 miles across. Now that's what I call a humongous fungus! Have you ever seen any of the tallest or longest life forms that made it on today's list? If not, which one would you like to meet? Tell us in the comments below! If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe for more entertaining videos like this one, and we'll see you next time on The Bright Side of Life!